The St. Augustine Ballet presents The Wizard of Oz. So excited, love this story. And so with us today, we've got one of the dancers, actually who's playing Dorothy. This is JoLynn Waldner and the director, Luis Abella. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for having us. Luis, how long has the St. Ba Augustine Ballet been in production? We've been in production for 12 years now. And are you still just as passionate? Oh yes, I've been doing this all my life. Wow, that's awesome. Well, speaking of all your life, I mean, we've got the girl who's playing Dorothy herself, the young lady over here, and you've been dancing a really long time as well. Yes. How long? How long? Um, about eight years. Eight years, and are you just as passionate? Yes. Oh, that's so exciting. So I want to learn a little bit more about your dancing career, uh, JoLynn. So can you tell me what was your first character you ever played and what has been your favorite so far? Um, the first character I've ever played was in the St. Augustine Ballet as Nutcracker. And it was, um, I was a mouse and an angel. A um, mouse and an angel, like two separate things. <laughs> what was your yeah. favorite out of those two to play? Uh, I think the angel was. <laughs> and is that because of the costume or the dancing? Um, I think it was a little bit of both. Yeah. <laughs> so what can the audience expect, uh, Luis, when they come to a production at St. Augustine Ballet? Well, um, especially this year, um, they're going to see a, um, a really good professional uh, dedication and um, a lot of, a lot of enthusiasm with the kids. Um, for some reason, the kids are putting together uh, all this I guess a year being home to another in the last six months and um, I, I was being amazed by the result, and, uh, the effort, the enthusiasm, and the, I don't know, this this production is, even the last note track is becoming really magical for the San Agustin Ballet. Are there COVID restrictions? I'm sure there are some. If somebody came to a show, what can they expect in that sense? Uh, yes, all the guidelines, um, all the students is going to be separate. Um, now it's a little, not less stressful, but a little more confident than everybody's already having the vaccine and the kids are taking care. I think people are amazing. People are uh, preparing themselves. People are taking care of themselves. We have to work really hard to keep going with our life. And I think this production will help to keep bringing that up to the kids. Yeah, I think that's great. And I'm sure they're so excited, as are you. So let's say, uh, you know, a, a little boy, a little girl wants to get into the ballet. What advice, either one of you can answer, what advice do you have for them to get started? Ballet is more than just dance. Ballet is a, it's a way to learn many things in life. Discipline, dedication, um, awareness of the people around you, um, perseverance. It's ballet is it's, it's, it's good. It's, it's something that is magical and, and growing up with. They have to work, they have to love what they do, and they have to keep understanding and they do that to make themselves happy and whoever wants to watch them. What's in store for the future of the St. Augustine Ballet? Uh, the goal here, pretty simple. We want to have a professional company in San Augustine. And the only way we can do that is to work together to merge the post school and to prepare dancers for that future. Um, this is a beautiful town. It's a long line of tradition of art. And I think ballet will be playing a, a really important role into the growing of the art in the city. And I would love to do that. So let's say people want to come out and go to the Wizard of Oz, May 22nd. How do they get tickets? Where, where can they get more information? You can go to the sanagustinballet.com. We are a partner with Tutu Ticket, and all the information will be there. It's going to be Saturday, May 22nd. Uh, two shows, one at 1.30 and 6.30 p.m. Are you excited, JoLynn? Yes, I'm very excited. Can we talk about the dog, please? Yes. <laughs> um, this is Toto. This is a rehearsal dog. Because there is a real dog though, right? We do have one actually. Um, it's all depends <laughs> on the dog training. Okay, <laughs> you okay. Behave, we will have. But Adorable. yes, it is really like this one. I was going to say that one looked pretty real, but he was just chilling. So I wasn't sure because my terrier is not chilling. Well, thank you both so much. I cannot wait to um, learn more about the St. Augustine Ballet. And this is going to be a fantastic show. I mean, Wizard of Oz, who doesn't love that? So thank we you both love, so much. We would love to offer you the invitation to come. 
Oh, thank you so much. Hey, I'll have to stop by for sure. And like you said, St. Augustine is a beautiful town. So you well, both have a great day. And if you'd like to see this segment again, go to firstcoastliving.net.